Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're going to be looking at my latest project, but before we do that, roll those credits. Welcome back. Now, this is Tenjin. It's a Kickstarter. I scaled this up to 200% for two reasons. One, because that's just what we seem to do here. And two, this is supposed to be resin printed. So I thought by scaling it up, I would have better chance of doing this FDM. This is not an easy print FDM. I have quite a few failures. Reason being, almost every part on this model, none of it has a flat surface, any of the parts. Some of them have got keys on the bottom, which you can sort of use as a flat surface, but predominantly, none of them have got a flat surface. Now, when you're resin printing, that's not too much of a problem. When you're FDM printing and you're doing parts of the armor, which have got start printing with just two points either side and have to build up and join into one piece. A lot of this took multiple tries at orientating it to print because as you'll know, getting two tiny little points to adhere and strong enough that you can carry on printing on them for sometimes a couple of hours before it joins up into one model is not easy. So yes, it is, it is printable FDM, but you are going to have a few fouls. Luckily, the fouls happen in the first sort of hour. None of them sort of foul halfway up. Now I printed this on a 0.12 layer height, so a lot of these were long prints as well by the time you factor in supports and stuff like that. So when they foul in the first hour, that's not too bad. You can reorientate, try again. You're not losing any prints 10, 15, 20 hours into it. He lights up, as you can see. So sword lights up, his eyes light up, and this soul amber, I think it's called, like a stone in his hand, that lights up as well. It is all got holes running through it so you can do all the white, it's all pre-done for you. I've got three LED bulbs in the sword so that I get a clean glow all the way along it. There's two LEDs in the head and there's two LEDs in the stone. And then underneath here, this, this base is hollow underneath so you can fix a battery pack. It's nice and neat, no wires, no switches, done lovely. I've got to say, this has probably been the best fitting model I have ever done to put together. The keys are perfect. It went together like, like butter. Also, the detail on this is remarkable. There is detail in parts that you can't even see. Like inside and underneath all the armor is all detailed. You can't see it on the model, but it's there. This is also not a quick paint job. I know I say that a lot. It's not a quick paint job, but it's also a very repetitive paint job. So you're using a lot of the time three colors yeah you can add you know some dry brushing and stuff like that and you're bringing in other colors but for the majority it's three colors i used on this the skin that is made up of three or four colors applied in washes and not as paint i actually used the vallejo non-def chaos paint kit for this so what you do is you prime them in gray and then you mix up a selection of different washes and you just keep washing it to bring out the details. I really like that, that was good. What else can I say about this really other than, oh, I really love this. So a lot of the details you don't necessarily see. Sword, as done as Damascus still. When you paint it, you can sort of see it. As soon as you put a wash over it, it shows up as Damascus still. There is quite a fair amount of fine paint work on this. You couldn't airbrush some people may be able to. I would never be able to airbrush this solely. With When I was applying the blacks on all the armor, that was all airbrushed just for speed, airbrush the black on, but then everything else on this was hand painted. This is still available on the Kickstarter. Again, as I said, I've done it at 200%. Doing it at 100% 
relatively quick print, I should imagine. This has taken me about two weeks running between one to four printers. We've had a lot of printer issues. So some of the time there was four, but a lot of the time there was one. <laughs> it's about 22 pieces to this, give or take. Some of them, okay, printed fine. Some of the parts, I had a few attempts at getting them to go. When you buy this, you get two versions. One version is unsupported, the other one is pre-supported. Now, if you're resin printing, pre-supported one, perfect. Import the parts, print. Although they have got an unsupported one, I feel like this was supposed to be a resin print, not necessarily FDM. If it was FDM, I feel like the design would have been a little bit more helping with some of the pieces. So this was printed on my artillery sidewinder, a longer LK4 Pro with a micro Swiss on it, my Prusa and an Ender with a micro Swiss on it. So yeah, it's also a very easy paint job to do as well though, because if you're going to wire it, you can't put the whole thing together and start painting it. So what I did is I painted every single piece individually, and then as I was running the wiring and some parts were complete, I was adding the pieces on. Now that is a testament to how good this model is, that every single piece was painted separately and added to the model. Usually when you do that, you can use, sometimes you see some join lines, you know, bits and pieces. Generally, I like to assemble my whole model and print it as, and paint it as one. This is the exact opposite and you cannot see a join line or anything. So that is a testament to how good this STL file is. Now I'll put a link on the description of where you can get this, but this is just a beautiful model, beautiful model. I love this. So I'll put a link on it for you. Have a go. It's really not an expensive STL, STL file to buy. Have a go with lighting it. Skate up bigger than me, if you can. I probably could have gone a bit bigger, but I'll just settle for 200%. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, plenty of videos on their way. We've got a lot in the queue, so they'll be dropping regularly. And uh, thanks for joining us. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.